Hello everybody, today on GTA Online, we're going to visit the Xbox One version of Monster Cheeks. We're going to give it a bit of an update, mainly to fix a couple poorly placed checkpoints. and We're going to change the beginning of the race, which will add more players to it. And we're going to change the ending up a little bit. And I thought I'd just start the race, but why don't we just take the scenic route and head on out. No calls, no calls. Actually, really wouldn't be right not to go there and launch the truck. Let's get that up and going. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? So your specialty vehicle is available for collection right now. We hope you're well, before, before we update, we're going to race it once. We're going to have a look at what it is. You'll be able to see the differences from the PS4 version from the, well, this one and then the 360 version if anybody plays on the 360. And also it's on the PS3. Oh, of course, look at that. Oh, heading out. Screw you, truck. Guess some things will never change in GTA. It's been a bit of an issue for a while. You call Pegasus and get right there, and there it goes. <laughs> it disappears on you. The next time you call, they have you travel you know, down all the way to the other end of the, ends of the world. Coming through. I've noticed a few few problems during racing on Monster Cheeks and there's one checkpoint in particular that really keeps bugging me. Now's the time to change it. Of course I've noticed a small spelling error in one of my in the description. Somehow the Xbox decided to Double up on one of the letters. It's been a while since I've been on this version of the of the GTA. I was on the PS4 version for a while, building races and racing with everyone. Well, anybody that would join. We seem to have very good luck with people joining. I start some start up a job.
It's a ways out there, I'll tell you. It's a ways out. Probably when I do the race before the update, I'll probably just do it solo. Usually takes so long for anybody to join, if anybody ever joins, and just isn't worth the wait usually. Make me get out of this truck and have to walk to that. Alright. There we are. At the start line of the Monster Cheeks race. I believe currently. At this position, it only is allowing me to get either 12 or 14 players max. On the PS4 version, I updated that and put the start line in a different place, which allowed many more players. It changed stuff up a little bit, but it definitely was for the better. So without further ado, let's make our way. into the race. Monster Cheeks, it was originally built on the concept of hardcore off-roading and hill climbs. You know, them kind of races that would just really destroy or possibly destroy you know thousands of dollars worth of equipment and that's pretty much what this was built on um, let's go noon clear I might change that up too I did race this once in the night time and it was pretty nice but I wanna See what we're doing. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's see if somebody will join. They'll just have to be in for the rude awakening that this isn't just tools and supercars race. Those get boring very quickly. Again, he's got my crew emblem on his shirt. Somehow. Yeah, they're takers. Let's go. Come on. That's why I usually 
I'm doing something like this and I'll just do it solo because it just turns into a one person joins by ne by the time somebody else if they join the other person leaves and all that kind of happy crap as you can see Mary is definitely spelled wrong We're here on the Monster Cheeks race. We get to have a look at some of the spots that need some help. Oh, he already quit. He couldn't. He couldn't handle it. So I, got, I might have fun. I better get out of here. Usually, if there's a lot of people on, it's probably best to run this track no contact. It can get pretty frustrating <laughs> sometimes and contact on and people falling down the mountain, India, or uh, people all bunched up in a small spot. Kind of stuck to it. Oh, we go. We're out of it. This spot right here seems. A lot more troublesome on this version than on any other version I've built a track on. Or should I say platform? But I'm keeping it there. It's gonna stay. Not, not gonna change the anything on the hill climb. I already did that once. It's Many, many players were having lots of trouble on the original version. Because it was too hard and they couldn't do it and would quit. Oh no. So you could see, if you had contact on, you had a lot of players, this could get very, very bad.
I think I got. Come on. other platforms the spot is one of the easier parts of the trap. Normally don't have the trouble with it. But on this one seems like it's a little bit more steep. Strongest definitely, you know, only the strongest survive on this track. I have seen more people quit on this because they can't do it. That's why it was made. It was made to be challenging and, you know, challenge monster truck. I didn't want one of those to just race out in the open races like you see so many of it becomes boring after a while which I think that's why you see a lot of these tracks that are got loopy loop ramps and you know stuff that goes way up into the sky now you know I think I think a lot of people are tired of just the same old races it's always, always supercars, supercars, supercars. I may have got that checkpoint, so I might just, for the sake of everyone's sanity, Manual back steering would be a nice addition too. Xbox One version is very, very doggy on the Liberator. things when you're trying to do this stuff. I swear this never happens, honestly. Oh, 
Get your fat ass up the fucking hill already. Originally, that went all the way up to the top, which can be done. But there were so many players that would quit because it's it takes some doing to do it to get up to that checkpoint. to the next thing. Start the next thing. Hurry up and get to the next thing. Thinking about the two things afterwards before you've even finished one. You know, you know, you know the players. You wouldn't be online gaming if there wasn't some babysitting and hand-holding going on. Oh, we're not gonna land good on that. I haven't blown up yet. No, oh, we're taking it. Just getting bad landings every time. Down here is one of the checkpoints that's I might put a ramp here. That checkpoint can be done. But why on earth did Rockstar ever put these trees in this area? It's one of the worst decisions I've ever ever seen them. It's just completely messed up. And then if you respawn on it, you're screwed up into the trees. So ultimately what you have to do is not do that. Come all the way around. And then do this U-turn. And it kind of screws it up big time, especially those trees. Oh! All four tires just bounce like basketballs. Alright, on the way. Come on, do it, come on, do it, go! Forest run here. Yeah. Certain areas I wanted the uh, checkpoints far away. Hopefully, you know, entice the thought of you know going pretty much where you wanted to go to get to the checkpoint. Whether or not it's obvious most players are not quite sure of that.
And when I first built this race, it, I don't think it was 10 minutes after the Independence Day DLC came out. I had, <laughs> I had this truck and I was up this mountain. And I think it was about six hours after that I I published Monster Cheeks for the first time. It's in around f uh, five to six hours, maybe a little bit longer. It, it was a massive undertaking to do this race. So originally, I couldn't find a way to test tracks with the Liberator. So the only thing I could use was a sand cane. They even come close to being like the Liberator. And there are very few vehicles in the game that will make it all the way through this track. So what I had to do is when I got up to those spots on the back of the mountain, I had to keep traveling up the road and falling down that side of the mountain and hope to you know, catch the checkpoints as I fell down, and if I didn't, I'd have to try it again, try it again. It took three hours just to test the, test the track to be able to publish it. And there was so many things wrong with it at that point, just because, well, I couldn't find a way of testing with the Liberator. And something might change there, because I don't like how you get thrown every time you come off that. That wasn't, definitely wasn't intended at all. I wanted that to be a smooth right off the mountain type of jump and possibly end up landing in the trees or beyond the trees. But there's a pesky little spot there that is either a rock or just a bad spot in the map. test it out, or we'll change it up a little bit when we update. It's just so doggy sometime on a throttle, it just acts like it's just not there at all. Needs needs to be more response in the throttle. This thing um, acts like an old farm tractor. It kind of uh, doesn't seem to go smoothly usually. Uh, 
over to the end. Wow, that was a good track, whoever built that. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to free mode. We'll fire up the creator. Yes. Do it. Do it now. Alright, let's load the creation. Published. And one monster cheat. Okay, here we are in creator mode. Where 